Alright, what's up guys? BB Entertainment and welcome back to another reaction. This one's called Two Horror Stories Animated. Keep it buzz. Somebody follow. Some of I suppose it says somebody follow me or something. Anyway, if you want to watch the original video, the link will be in the description down below. Let go. Play. Making animation videos takes lots of time and funds. So thanks to the sponsors who support the channel so that we can keep creating our amazing stuff. And this is why we want to appreciate Monster Legends for supporting today's video. Monster Legends is a neat mobile game that you can get for free by clicking on the link in the description below. While playing the game, I have collected tons of different monsters. Once I get them, I can feed them to help them grow and make them stronger, which is key to take them into battle. What I love the most about Monster Legends is that each character has a unique design and makes me want to collect them all. And I can also breed different species of monster together, so I get new species to complete my collection. Once your baby monsters have grown strong enough, you can take them into several epic battles. And, and you guys are ready. So yes, please fine. go ahead and check the link in the description below and give Monster Legends a go. You will be helping our channel a ton. A creepy jibini. What did they say? I live in a city of Philippine. This incident happened to me a while ago, but it remind me forever and ever. That day, I was staying outside for some schedule, and it was kind of late, so I thought that I have no choice but to take a jeepney, which is a public vehicle in the Philippines, to ride back home. The street was pretty quiet, as I saw one jeepney was going to pass through, oh, so I waved my hand. And when I just entered a jeepney, my eye directly reached a woman besides the driver's seat. The woman looked asleep beside the driver, and for her head is resting at his shoulders, so I thought that she woman was a girlfriend of the driver. I sat to behind side, and in my front view of my seat, there was an old man, so there were only four passengers during that time. The inside of Jeepney was quiet. Nobody was talking, and I didn't any pay attention to others. And that was the most worst things happened. When the Jeepney have traveled for a few meters more, then the old man who was in front of me suddenly asked the driver to stop the vehicle and dragged me outside. At the first if you don't time, punch him. I didn't recognize what was going on. Then I was just scared of his sudden behavior, so I shouted, Stop it! He had no replies for a few seconds. Then he replied, Shh, trust me. Still confused, but I quickly followed what he said because I'm very nervous that time and don't know what should I do. My mind was almost blew up. I kept thinking, what if he was going to steal something of kill me what should I do or well, maybe should I save your life when we that already have left the jeepney he stared me and finally told me with calm voice that the girl who was beside the driver's seat was already dead I could not believe what was he saying then he said again I saw with my own eyes yep he saved your life Her lips and nails were already black, and her waist have an ice pick stabbed on it and full of blood. I was shocked. If I didn't follow that old man so I didn't get off, what would be the next? The old man left behind me and said again, You should be careful next time. After that day, when I get on jeepney, I always pay attention abnormally. Yep. Thank God for me. Thank goodness for the um, for the old man. Of course. It's, it's some, Two weeks ago, I woke up in the morning. There's always some, some stuff going on in the woods. Stay out of the woods. You heard? Stay out of the woods. Ready for school as usual. Because I live in a small village, there's no bus that drives to my school. So I always have to drive with my bike about four miles. Talk to me, Rod. As I didn't want to drive alone, a friend of mine would drive with me to school every day. Is ride. One morning, me and my friend would meet up at our place. 
Driving to the place, I wasn't feeling well. Well, maybe and my friend was waiting when I got to the place. We drove along through the woods and made some jokes about what was going to happen at school today. As we were driving, I heard some sticks cracking, and I thought nothing about it. Seconds later, I heard it again, and again, and again, and again. I asked my friend if he heard that too. He said, no, why? One minute later, I heard it again, but louder. I asked my friend, did you hear that? But he said no. And the second after that, I saw a tall like figure running just on the right of me. Oh, just that's my heart imagination. got frozen. I screamed in my head as I saw that face. Everything was in the wrong place. The what nose like? was above the eyes. Huh? The mouth was wide open, and the eye sockets. Oh! I instantly passed out. I would have too. One hour later, I woke up in a hospital if with my friend sitting to the right of me and my mom to the left. My friend said that I fainted and fell to the ground and I had broken my left leg. The day after that, I laid in my bed with pain because of the broken leg. I had to take strong painkillers. Later that day, I laid in my bed and tried to sleep. As I was slowly passing out, I heard scratching on my window. I looked. And then I saw the face of the figure. <laughs> it froze instantly. The figure was just scratching with its long fingers on the window and smiled with a wide mouth. She's doing out again. Uh. I woke up in the morning with pain in my leg. I rolled to my left and took my painkillers. After that night, I never saw or heard anything of that. Why are you smiling again. though? Oh. I told my friend everything, and surprisingly, he said that he saw something like that in one of his dreams. I still don't know what that figure was and why my friend had a dream about that thing. I put down my blinds and shut my window at night, always. Now we That's have a bus that time. brings us to school. I didn't tell my mom about this, and never will. That's gonna be a jump scare. Grande cappuccino for Rose. And I have a grande cold brew for Spider Man. I love your attitude. Yes, fuck everything. Dang. Alright, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure Kaiju punch that like button in the face like a boss. Peace. <clears throat>